I just... Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> one minute later. Okay, guys, so this is going to be one of my shortest rant videos ever. And I'm literally just looking at a few notes and whatever happens, happens. So to start things off, the Phoenix Suns had 11 turnovers at halftime. 11 turnovers. I don't even know how many they finished with the night. It was probably like 18 or something like that. The turnovers absolutely killed us. And yeah, we can blame the referees and everything, but this was really the Phoenix Suns just not being good enough as a team. And I know it's not that simple, but the Phoenix Suns just need to be better as a team. This is just what, what really frustrates me is I know it's a long NBA season and I know that these you know, professional basketball players are human beings and they do get tired, but the Phoenix Suns had all of all-star break off. And yeah, I know they played like back-to-back -back games after that, but then they had three days off and just losses like this are just frustrating, man. And to go along with all of that, Yusuf Nurkic kind of took like a bump from Jalen Green and he received a little bit of friendly fire from uh, Josh Akogi who like, I think he like whacked him in the face by accident or something like that. So then he leaves with an injury and then Bradley Beal got into the skirmish with Jalen green. And then that led to an ejection. And then all of a sudden, I believe it was Jabari Smith was wide open, had a, had a wide open corner three, which he missed Jalen green, grabbed the easy rebound. Then all of a sudden, bam, Devin Booker accidentally tweaks his ankle on Royce O'Neal's ankle. They both go down. Devin Booker got up and just hobbled straight to the locker room. Much, much, much later. Hey guys, I'm literally editing this video right now, but we do have an update on Devin Booker. The x-rays are negative. It is a sprained right ankle for Devin Booker. Frank Vogel said, we'll see how he responds overnight. And then we also got a little bit of an update on Yusuf Nurkic, who has a neck sprain, and Royce O'Neal also has an ankle sprain. Three injuries in one game. <sighs> Yikes. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of the rant video. Peace. <sighs> that, it, <laughs> it, just, it just goes to show how ugly of a night this was. With all due respect to Amari Stoudemire and to his family, and him being finally introduced in the Suns Ring of Honor. Congratulations, by the way. I'll talk about that uh, later on. But beyond that, everything outside of the Amari Stoudemire stuff was just ugly. And like, yeah, I know. They played hard and everything. And they they, they came back a few times. But, but the best way to sum up tonight's game, and shout out to my guy, uh, John over at the Suns Jam Session podcast who had this great tweet here. The Suns came within one point. The score was 99 to 98. Then they allowed a 14 to 4 run. That that pretty much sums up the ball game. Every single time the Suns would come back into this game, it didn't matter. The the Rockets just outscored us. They they out hustled us. They played better defense. They didn't have freaking 18 turnovers or whatever it was. It was ugly. Jalen Green, by the way, seems to just cook us. Why Why, did, why is it when Jalen Green plays us, he just cooks us? 34 points, six threes. <sighs> Even though Kevin Durant had 30 points, it didn't seem like it. And look, you guys know that I have, I have just loved everything about Grayson Allen this season. But Grayson Allen has seemed to have gone cold. I think he was 0 for 7 tonight. Didn't hit a 3. And even like last game, I remember him missing a couple shots and everything. He just... Tonight was ugly, man. Tonight was just really ugly. We have like 20-something games left or less. And the schedule gets harder from here. The Phoenix Suns just have to be better. They absolutely have to be better. You know, the, the West is just so deep and you know I don't know what the standings are you know the Suns may or may not still be the fifth seed but we if we keep having losses like this we're going to drop in the standings and we do not want to be a playing team we do not want to be a playing team y'all bad bad loss for the Suns um I don't know what else to say y'all I do just want to end this video by once again congratulating one of the greatest Phoenix Suns players of all time 
Amari Stoudemire for finally being introduced to the Phoenix Suns Ring of Honor, 32 forever. Amari Stoudemire, congratulations to you and your family. By the way, you guys, the Phoenix Suns YouTube channel will upload it, but he gave one of the greatest speeches that I have ever heard. It it honestly like was a tearjerker, and I'm not even joking, y'all. Shout out to Amari Stoudemire, one of the greatest ever. And that's all I got, y'all. Rant video over. You guys know I'm going to keep you guys updated on the Devin Booker, Yusuf Nurkic injuries and everything. Subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. And look, you guys, I know this was a super negative rant and everything, but you guys already know. Win or lose Phoenix Suns for life, that will never change. I love you guys. I love the Phoenix Suns. And as always, go Suns. Peace. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Yeah.